Welcome back. So we are talking right now, even discussing um, all what is related to tourism, to, to tourism. And the tourism industry is so vulnerable. And we always say that this is an intangible project. When it comes to something that you can touch, this is something very, very easy. But something that you cannot touch, it is intangible and very vulnerable. So when services apply, it has to do with the quality of services. Nowadays, it is very difficult actually to satisfy the tourist because he is very much well educated. He knows exactly what he is looking for. Not only he is looking for the, the monuments, the temples, definitely Egypt is rich with such important cultural sites that, that actually there are no other places that got such important uh, actually culture or civilization. But again, we have to talk about the quality of services. What are we going to offer to our holiday makers? Many, many things. Talking about the markets of the tourism, definitely the Russian market is very, very important. They are very much interested actually in uh, when it comes to recreational tourism, when it comes to cultural tourism. And definitely the last visit of uh, the Russian President Vladimir Putin to Egypt, we can use this very much in promoting tourism. So many, many important issues to be discussed, but first allow me to welcome our, my dear guest today, Dr. Mustafa Khalil, he is member of the Foreign Tourism at the Tourism Companies Chamber, first of all, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, sir, uh, first, uh, uh, in relation to what uh, Nashua said, uh, w how do you see the visit of uh, the Russian uh, president and its uh, impact on attracting uh, more tourists to the hardly hit, if we can say, tourism industry? Um, uh, let us say at the beginning, say good morning from Egypt to everybody. Uh, that is, the, the question is, um, uh, let me return to the introduction of the nature of the tourism. Mm -hmm. Nature of tourism as it is as industry, the component of the industry it should be like raw materials. I'm coming back to the idea of that it's not only the monuments, it's not only the good weather and so on. It's all of these things we should gather together and create a good product. Mm -hmm. Good product because it's in, in tangible uh, industry. Mm -hmm. Industry, so <coughs> that we are dealing with human being. Mm -hmm. So everybody has his own interest, mm -hmm. and he knows where to go, and how to go, and how much to buy. Mm -hmm. And all of these things are related and based on the services itself. Mm -hmm. The backbone of our industry, if we can call it industry in Egypt is a service. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we are still far somehow from this core. That's why the prices of our services is low. Very low. Even we, even we have, a, a, how can I say, huge diversity of the products of tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot find it any place all over the world. Returning to the uh, meeting uh, or the summit which uh, was between uh, President Sisi and President Putin, uh, if we will make flashback of August last year, that when uh, Putin met uh, President Sisi in, in a very, very warm welcome in Sochi. Mm -hmm. In that time, we said that we are as businessmen and we are as a government, if the government like that, doing we have to harvest the result of this visit because uh, all media uh, really uh, tackled this issue. They spoke about it in a very nice way. The trust in Egypt as a destination already returned in a second to its uh, normal position. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, we couldn't. Uh, get the result in a positive way in that time. This, this time, the, the couple of days ago, the visit, we need, we need to, uh, we need to harvest this visit in, in the proper way. We need to gain all the results. They have huge uh, dreams as two leaders, and those dreams should be achieved by us. I am including myself. I'm including myself in this uh, issue. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm a member and the people who are working in the industry itself. 
when we said we already uh, offered the Ministry of Tourism and different and several uh, uh, several proposal saying that we would like to make uh, what's called crisis management. Uh, what is the problem? What's happened to the Russian market? And why it has been, it had a sharp decrease uh, because of the local currency. The devaluation of the local currency really affected on the demand sharply. So uh, it's not only towards Egypt, but all over the world. So speaking about this, sorry to jump in here, sir, but speaking about this point specifically, what, what do you think about uh, the reaction to the agreement that has been settled between President Sisi and uh, Putin in regards to the uh, to the uh, to the money uh, uh, to the exclusion of the U.S. dollar from the trade between the two countries? Actually, we, we already suggested that in the Chamber of Tourism mm -hmm. and Foreign uh, Department in Empowered com uh, Committee. Mm -hmm. We already discussed this for uh, some times, and we already asked and consulted some of the spe specialized on the uh, economics and financing and so on. And we, uh, the idea is that some people would like to return back to the part of the but part of the uh, cannot be applied nowadays due to that we are in uh, liberal economy and so on in Russia and Egypt. Before it was um, uh, economy uh, driven by the governments uh, in the time of President Nasser and in the time of Soviet Union. We suggest this is, I can tell you that from now, if this uh, agreement will be applied, tourism will, uh, from Russia to Egypt will be increased two times and maybe three times. Mm -hmm. And we will divert them towards destinations they didn't visit before, like Luxor and Aswan. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, we have a lot of uh, mistakes we are doing. Uh, uh, as any rumors, you say that the Russians doesn't like the cultural tourism. And this is yes, very because most of the time we meet them on the Red Sea, and uh, it has to do, of course, with the weather and the time of the vacation. But definitely, they are interested in cultures. It depends on no, they are well educated. They are studying our history and the. But uh, sir, we talked right now about um, how each one can work uh, just to to harvest, and it looks like uh, our prob problem is in the harvest. Yes, because. Nowadays, we can work very hard with the Russian market. And let me say also that the Russian market is very important. The number of the Russian people, even after the number decreased, still is promising when it comes to, 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 to the nation itself. And we can work on this. How can we take benefit of this? Uh, I have, um, almost we have some uh, confusions of the numbers. So we would like to see the numbers as money, or we would like to see the number as people. Number as money. As money. Fine. So the number as money, we have to have plan. Good plan, it means good future. No plan, no future. So the idea is that if you come into the Russian market, you'll find, as any society all over the world, you have that is layers, up market, medium, low, and so on. What kind of products you providing them? And it depends what you are providing. Why you would like to attract them to, to see all the Egyptian products? Because if you look at Luxor and Aswan, classic and cultural programs and so on, in every step, the, uh, uh, the guest or the uh, tourist is paying money. In every step. If he come into the monuments, he is paying the entrance fees. He is paying for the guide. He's paying for the antiques uh, shops and so on, so on. He's paying for transportation. He's paying for the hotel, for the food. But when he comes to the resort, and we have a system now, it's called the all-inclusive system, he's blocked in the resort. He's eating and drinking in one fixed price. So what I'm saying, and what we are suggesting now, the, the, we, ha we are facing now, instead of one problem in this market, we have two problems and we have to deal with them. The first problem is the uh, devaluation of the currency 
which uh, put a burden on any uh, tourist who would like to, do, to travel, that he need to secure two times or even more of his currency of rubles to be able to travel with the same cost which he was traveling two months